find the tackle brands you trust most at Dick's Sporting Goods or Dick's.com. As predatory fish migrate into the region, it makes the Back Bays a prime location for surf and shore fishing striped bass success. Back Bays are generally shallow and often have dark areas, which are the first spots to heat up water temperatures, add a great tidal fluctuation, and during the peak of the ebb, that mud flat or the marshes warm up and it's certain to warm up water temperatures as well. As top predators, striped bass hunt bait fish that flourish in warming waters in search of protection along shorelines, marshes, structures, drop-offs, and draining channels. Look for firm sod banks and sanding areas to provide firm footing that's a safe area to fish from. It's a great idea to always fish with a partner as well. Here's a quick rundown on gear, basic technique, and what to look for once you arrive on scene. A basic rod and reel outfit like this 7-foot pen spinning combo you can get at Dick's Sporting Good is a great choice for back bay light tackle fishing. It's also a great rod when fishing from a boat. Spool it up with 10 to 20 pound braid and you have a great all-purpose inshore fishing outfit. Now when it comes to lures, you'll need a small assortment for back bay fishing ranging from a quarter ounce to one and a half ounce spro bucktails tipped with gold. Lip swimmers like this Daiwa SP Minnow, surface poppers, tins, and especially soft plastic swim baits like these from Storm and Tsunami. And definitely don't forget the insect repellent. The great thing about surfing back bays is the signs of bait. Always keep your eye out for working birds, nervous water, anything breaking the surface. This will help you identify where the fish are located. Now the important thing to do when you spot bait is to match the hatch and the presentation as well. If you see them breaking the surface, it's time to pull out a popper. If you see them just below the surface or the birds diving, maybe the cormorants, it's time to break out an SP minnow or soft bait. If you see them working in that general area but they're not breaking on top, it's time to work the bottom water column with spro bucktails. Start by fan casting, meaning cast to your left, cast down the center, and cast to the right, covering a big fan area. Work that area at a slow or moderate pace, and if you don't generate a strike, simply move down the shoreline and cover some more area thoroughly. If you're still not getting a strike and you know the fish are there, it's time to switch up your lures. Early morning and dusk are the magic hours, but if all your schedule allows is midday, then go for it. Stripers during the springtime tend to feed multiple times a day. Back bays and estuaries are beautiful, accessible, and some of the most productive places to target stripers. They produce fish all year round, but you definitely don't want to miss out on that magical fishing window of spring striped bass fishing.